All right, yours is recording too, right? Uh, yeah, I would. Got the, it's got the red dot on. Perfect. A <laughs> little clitoris there. Of course, we wouldn't know what that is on this podcast. I've heard wondrous things heard about it, though. It sounds like a Batman villain. It's the clitoris. Where's the clitoris, <laughs> Joker? Where is it? Where is the clitoris? Show me the clitoris. <laughs> Welcome back <laughs> to Secret Identity, or welcome for the first time. Who knows if you who's been watching, who's not? I know you haven't been, Dad. Uh, <laughs> my name is Troy Bond. With me is my co-host. Hi, guys. Brent Birnbaum. Today we are uh, talking, obviously, about Wonder Spider Woman. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we both did a bit. We both did it. Um, the uh, book we're going into today uh, is one of my favorite Batman books. I think it's actually the first Batman book I ever read cover to cover. Really? Like, and, it, and it, my dad got me that hardcover when I was a kid, when I was like thirteen. Still have it somewhere. Uh, 1996's miniseries, The Long Halloween, by uh, Jeff Loeb and art by Tim Sale. Art is so good, though. I know, it's man. As if he wrote part of it. I. This is. Batman, we talked about on the last podcast that we yeah. always go back and forth between Spider-Man and Batman as our favorite right. characters. And when we were talking about which Spider-Man book to do, it was a pretty easy decision. But with Batman, it's such a harder decision because there are so many seminal Batman books out yeah. there. There's Dark Knight Returns. There is Hush. There's Year One. There's The Killing Joke. But I think this is the perfect Batman book. Similar to you, I remember exactly where I was when I read this. I was supposed to be studying for the SAT at Borders, and I, I guess I'm dating myself. This is uh, Borders for you youngins out there. Yeah, what is, similar uh, to Barnes & Noble. I didn't take either, so yeah. Explain. <laughs> um, Borders? Wait, is that a, a test you have to take? Oh, no, no, no. Is, no, no. Bor- a place? You don't, you don't remember Borders? Borders was, no. ba- Borders was like Barnes, Barnes & Noble's. It was a bookstore, and they had like... They had just various books that you can read, and they had like SAT prep books, but they also had a comic book and graphic novel section. So I know where you were when you were supposed to be studying. When I was supposed to be studying, exactly. <laughs> and this is what you were reading? This is what I was reading. I was reading this cover to cover, and my mind was blown. What's the best story for, I mean, the question of <laughs> like the best. I just keep laughing looking at you in the I mask. know. I love it, man. <laughs> it's so like, good. This is it's so hard for me not to keep telling in this. Like every time I see myself in frame. It's perfect. If you've never read a Batman comic before, I would recommend reading this one first mm-hmm. and then read year one. Right. Because this is kind of in the same universe. One. That's exactly what it was. After Crisis on Infinite Earths, where DC goes through their thing every 25 years where they right. reboot everything, they created Batman Year One to have like, hey, this is going to be the Batman origin story. That was around 1986. And they brought in Fr- they brought in Frank Miller and Klaus. Yeah. I forgot his last name. But it was the team behind Daredevil Born Again. Right. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Which was also Frank Miller, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah, it was yeah. incredible. And Batman Year One, such a good book. It's the inspiration behind Batman. Man begins, and so after the success of that, they asked Jeff Loeb, "Hey, do you want to write essentially a sequel to Year One? So Year One being Batman's origins, the first year being Batman. This is essentially Batman Year Two. One of the best parts of it is every element of Batman's universe is in this book. Yes, like it's the first time where it was like, oh, this is really that's the only friend Gordon has, mm-hmm. and and Gordon is the only friend Batman really has. Like, I, I love Gordon in this, too. He's so earnest. He's like Jimmy Stewart. He, like, I, oh, we, 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 gotta, <laughs> we gotta catch the holiday killer, Batman. Oh, I, I never knew I had so many roles. Uh, it's, 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 it'll be I a was, Christmas miracle I, I, when we I, stop I, I, him. I, 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 just, I just want you to find Gilda. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, I, I, we, we gotta do it for Har- Harvey. The Harvey, there's, there's Batman rankings. Mm-hmm. Give me your top five worst to best Batman. So worst to best, worst to best. Number five is going to be Adam West because he he created such a different type of Batman, so different than the comics when Batman was initially created in the in the 30s um, as essentially a reflection of the times, this dark anti-hero. He was a reflection of the 60s, this kind of counterculture, Andy Warhol Why doesn't Batman movement. dance anymore? Ex- ex- <laughs> <laughs> Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. And it's it's such a goofy, I love the Andy take. Warhol comparison. Oh, yeah. That is really what it is. Exactly, for- yeah. Like the Campbell, like Andy Warhol saying like, do you think you think Picasso and all this stuff is art? Fuck right. it. I'm going to put a Campbell soup. That's what art is. Yeah. And that's essentially what they're doing with Batman. He's not going to be dark. He's going to he's not going to be gritty. But what he did do is he kept Batman's popularity alive. So like, that's 5. That's 5. 4. 4. Okay. This is uh this is one where I where where we're going to disagree, I think. I'm putting Keaton there. This uh, 
I, I've changed my mind on Keaton mm -hmm. since the Flash movie. I had a religious experience during that fight scene. I was like, this is how Batman fights. Mm -hmm. Like, perfect between Batfleck in the warehouse and Christian Bale in the Dark Knight. Yeah, and it's like that movie almost retroactively made the Burton movies better in the same yes. way that like Civil War kind of retroactively made Age of Ultron better. That is a great take. Thank you. You know a little something about these pages, boy. <laughs> I like comic books. <laughs> I, I've been watching Simpsons, and every time they have that, nah, you broke my Batmobile, guy. <laughs> I just, that's you. Oh, that, that is 100 <laughs> M's. I, I hope that you don't no, take not, that No, not at all. Physically, but, that is But you. Batman's the only one that fits in my <laughs> Batmobile. <laughs> that's going on the soundboard. Uh, okay, so we got five, Adam West. Number four, Keaton. Three. Bale. Bale, that's a perfect middle ground. Yeah, Bale. Why, is, why Bale at three? Bale, these are the best Batman. These are the best comic book movies. The best Bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And right. like the Dark Knight is the Godfather of comic book movies. The first of many Godfather references they'll be yes, made today. that will have. Yeah, we got to That's this is the perfect blend for us. It's such it's such a good movie, and because it doesn't fall into, uh, it's not a cookie cutter superhero film. It's kind of a callback to those seventies thrillers like Serpico or The French Connection. One right. guy. Taking down corruption and crime, uh, and he's he's so he's so engaging in that role. The only thing that kind of takes me out of it is the voice. Is the voice. I can't be able to stop you. I can't. But uh, first, I just need to stop for a few seconds. Oh God, I'm waiting. Catch my breath. <laughs> Here, I'm not wearing hockey pants. Because I'm not wearing hockey pants. I can't skate. <laughs> Rachel. God, I mean. He didn't have that in the first one, right? No, no. In the, Batman Begins. The first one, he's normal sounding. It's Why great. did he do that? I, I th maybe, maybe he just got hoarse. I don't know. Maybe I, it was a Nolan choice. I think he kind of hated making superhero movies sometimes mm -hmm. in a way that Dark Knight was finally his chance to make heat. Right. And Ooh, wow. Uh, that was why there's everything's practical. Uh, he's like, if we're going to do this, everything has to be grounded in reality. No chairs on set. The Batmobile, because that's his thing. Mm -hmm. like, nobody's allowed to can sit. Can you do a De Niro? I can never do a De Niro. Uh, I can only do I, 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 the face. That's yeah. what everyone else could do. Yeah. Just the, Oh, yeah. No, you got it. Do the, <laughs> so I don't really... Uh, what's that? Barbecues? You know I got these scars? I'll tell you, Henry. You Even under the I mask, you could still see you it. No, I got them? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah where, where, where are the drugs going, huh? You going to tell me? You going to tell me? You're not going to tell me where the drugs are going? That's okay. That's okay. All right. Henry, Henry, I can't, I, I can't do it. I can't do it, Maroney. These guys coming down my neck. You know, I got loud. I, I, I can't do it. Oh my God, that's so good. Could do that for twelve hours. Uh, <laughs> and I think we know who two and one are going to be. No, I'm, I have are no you, idea you know? who two and one are going to be. Two, two is Battinson. Very good too. I love that. I love that movie. I think that is the best attempt at long Halloween in live action. Absolutely, it is long Halloween. It is long because I mean, the Dark Knight borrows a lot from Long Halloween, particularly in that triangle relationship between Batman, Gordon, uh, Gordon and Harvey. Yeah, and like that origin. Their but, rooftop scenes, direct parallels from the comics. Right, but long, but the Batman with Matt Reeves is a mystery. And yeah, it's a serial killer trying to tr like tracking down a serial killer, which is what the Long Halloween. Is. Yeah, it's um, it's Court of Owls and Long Halloween. Totally, that's Pattinson. Um, in my opinion, uh, the best Batman movie. Yes, because The Dark Knight is great for all that it is, and I agree with you. It's mm -hmm. it's the Godfather of Batman movies, but it is not a movie about Batman. Uh huh. It's a movie about the Joker. Uh, oh yeah, where the Joker's the main character. I mm -hmm. mean, like nobody, you you there's like five times that movie could have ended. Right, it has no plot, and the you don't realize it because Heath Ledger is so captivating. He is in that role. Nothing like that has ever been done. Everything since that has been trying to to duplicate or pay homage to him in that role. Um, Batman Begins is the best Batman movie out of those three movies. Mm -hmm. Uh. The Batman is the Batman movie for me. I love like, that take. Yeah. yeah I, I agree with that. I still think Dark Knight is the best superhero movie ever made. I but, agree. But yeah, but I, I agree that The Batman is a way better Batman movie. Yeah. And then so who would your one be? Kevin Conroy. Conroy. That's it's my one. Because when I read these comic books... It's his voice that I hear. Yeah, exactly. Which is why, e even though what Heath Ledger did in The Dark Knight was unreal, yeah. and he is such an incredible actor, and that performance is incredible, 
but when Mark, I read the comics, I hear it's Mark, Mark Hamill. Hamill. Voice. Yeah, it's, he's my number one joke with uh, Heath at two. My brother went to go meet Kevin Conroy at a comic book convention, and he wanted him to sign something. Uh-huh. And he just he grabbed like the first thing off a rack he could, and he grabbed uh, the Arkham Origins poster, which is the one game <laughs> Kevin Conroy did not voice over. He's in the other three. He's in the other ones. That was the one my brother grabbed, but he played a lot of football in high school. Uh, <laughs> and um, and uh, yeah, but that list. That's about where I I wasn't even considering putting West on that list. That's perfect. I'd have no qualms with that. Oh, I love that. that. Per- I'm trying to think if there was any nitpicky thing there. No, that's exactly where I would put it. Kevin Conroy, best Batman. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think people have some disagreements about Bale and Battinson. Right. We're definitely going to get some. Yeah, I'll get I'll get death threats for this because yeah. I didn't include George Clooney or something. Yeah, I, well, like the 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 thing about Pattinson. It's kind of like Heath Ledger, right? Where mm-hmm. everyone was like, "Really? He right. was Batman?" And like, he didn't necessarily bail it up. He didn't Affleck. Right. I would put Affleck oh. in there, and st- I would swap out. Uh, who's your number four? Uh, number four is Keaton. Yeah. I gotta, I, I gotta put Affleck in there somewhere. I wouldn't, I, di- I wouldn't him. disagree with that. Like. That this is my personal five, but I would totally, I yeah. could totally see Affleck being there because he's got the build. If this were a, a Watch Mojo list, mm-hmm. I would put Affleck in as the honorary mention right yeah. before Conroy, mm-hmm. um, because in terms of screen accurate and a Batman that has been doing this for, because most of the time you see Batman, you got to in movies, it's like. All right, how many times have we got to watch his parents get killed? Right. Um, and Affleck was like a 20 years in Batman. His Dick Grayson died, been fighting the Joker, been doing... This was a seasoned Batman. It was. It just... He was he was roided up for it. He was, he was perfect. I mean, and it just sucks because him and Henry Cavill got, got absolutely screwed. Totally. Um, I love the Snyder Cut. Mm-hmm. Do not get me wrong. Uh, those movies are not movies about... The heroes. They're about the heroes' powers. Yeah. Powers. And the powers. The powers. And they, they, that's all Zach seemed to understand in that, which, fine. It's right. like Michael Bay, when someone was like, you make movies for 12-year-olds, and he was like, and? <laughs> you know, like, yeah, right. cool, like, fine, but, like, those two were so perfect. Henry Cavill was Christopher Reeve-level perfect casting. Yeah. And just got screwed out of it so many mm-hmm. times, and just got a raw deal. Affleck too, you know, like yeah. uh, so. I got to put him up there. Mm-hmm. Got to put up Affleck. I know. Uh, I love that. I uh, yeah. You gotta you gotta give it to him because he listens to this podcast mm-hmm. with J Lo. <laughs> when and this is the one time of the day they don't fight. It's and, what they put on while they're fucking. It's what while they're fucking. Yeah, and it, that and Rosalia because they both speak perfect Spanish for some reason. Um, hold on, I'm gonna turn this TV off so you don't get weird coloring throughout this thing. I'm like, what, what is going on? My 75 inch TV, the power. The power. Um, oh, let me see if I had any other discussion topics that I wanted us to get into. Um, yeah. Uh, with that being said, you wanna. You want to take the reins? Let's get into this. Uh, so we're talking about the long Halloween today. Just to give a quick blanket summary of what the story's about. Mm-hmm. Um, Batman's early days of crime fighting, like we said. Right. You say nine months after year one. That makes a lot of sense, honestly, for this timeline. I don't know why I put so many years after it. I'm only thinking of this because Harvey is just elected DA at yeah. the end of year one, and now he is DA. Right. And there's a line in there with... Um, with the Joker and right. Batman where they're fighting and uh, he's like, you're insane. And he's like, you're just figuring that out now. <laughs> <laughs> so that could be a, fu- that, that that makes sense that it would be a year in thing. Right. Um, this takes place during his early first few, few years of fighting crime. Uh, there's a killer named the holiday who uh, kills people on holidays. Real original, like most <laughs> Batman villains. It's that Seinfeld bit. We think it was the penguin. Why? Because he was dressed like a penguin. <laughs> um, he uh, so every month, this holiday killer kills somebody, mm-hmm. and uh, James Gordon, who is not Commissioner Gordon, he's Captain Gordon right. at this point, is working with DA Harvey Dent uh, and Batman uh, as they're trying to figure out who Holiday is, mm-hmm. putting a lot of pressure on them each time a holiday is coming up, trying to figure out who's going to die, what's going. While this is all happening. Um, we have uh, a uh, a mob war 
between the Maronis and the Falcones. Is that mm-hmm. what's going on? Yeah, exactly. Is that what you'd extract? Yeah. There's a beef. Yeah, we're, we're at a place in Batman's story where costumed villains aren't his primary adversaries yet. Because And that's the that's the that thing in, uh, what was it, Civil War with Jar- uh, Vision, mm-hmm. where he was talking about the equation of adversaries that have risen and right. the amount of heroes that have grown. Mm-hmm. So I think there's something, because I was thinking, like, organized crime is sort of the perfect Batman villain, the mob, right. you know, right? Because, like, there's... He's Batman to swear off crime, to, to fight off crime in the name of his parents, who who were killed mm-hmm. by corruption and 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 uh, just the the, the greed and, and crime in, in Gotham City. And the mob is sort of perfect for him because he doesn't have powers. Mm-hmm. They don't have powers, right. but they have power. They got power. You know, they have po- <laughs> in this book, the only villain with powers that he sort of comes up against is Poison Ivy. Mm-hmm. That's really the only hero rogue I could think of. I'm sure there's many more, but like... And Solomon Grundy. Grundy, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, uh, love in this book. I love how... I love the Grundy stuff. Oh, yeah. um, so this mob war's going on. They're trying to figure out who this holiday killer is. Um, and that's... Pre- uh, we, we get the origin of uh, Harvey Dent becoming Two-Face. We get uh, some beautiful... Some of the best Batman and Catwoman stuff yeah. ever. Uh, we have a lot of the mob stuff. We find out about... Uh, if you saw the Batman, you know the parallels between Falcone and, and Thomas Wayne. Mm-hmm. Or you know their connection. Um, and that's sort of where this um, this story begins. Yeah. that's That was perfect. Do, I'm anything just I'm leaving out? My notes. I feel like Bill O'Reilly. What did I get wrong? No, you... you do it live! <laughs> Fuck it! We'll do it live. <laughs> You Fuck were- it. Fuck it. <laughs> we'll do it live. I don't care. We're going to do Fucking now. thing sucks. We're going to take down the villain. What does that mean? Sting will play us out. I don't know what that means. <laughs> we'll just, I'll, I'll write it and you'll do it. We'll do it live. Fuck it. And that's it for us this evening. Now for uh, Sting to play us off a cut from his new album. Where is the fucking teleprompter? Where is it? Where is it? Tell me where the teleprompter $32 is. $32 million. Dollars. Rachel. How bad a sex do you have to be for you to pay $32 million for Rachel to keep quiet? <laughs> They just paid. T- <laughs> I misread. It's thirty-two million yen. It's thirty-two now. <laughs> That's just what you know about. It's not about the money. It's about sending a message <laughs> that I haven't discussed in God. Sending a message and when I pee, everything burns. And everything burns. <laughs> and I'm sending you that message at three a.m. on my work phone. It's not about peeing. It's <laughs> about sending a message. Giuliani said it was okay. Everything burns. That's imagine a world where Rudy Giuliani it becomes Two Face. <laughs> That's what we're dealing with here. We essentially. In this book. We essentially, I mean, kind of did, but his, his bottom row of teeth look like half of Harvey Dent's face. Wow, what if a good parallel. It, it's so, it's horrible. <laughs> we're starting in Long Halloween. Yes. Chapter one is Halloween. Yes. At the wedding of Carmine Falcone right away. Or the, the, the Johnny Vitti. Carmine's, Johnny Vitti. Uh, how is he related? Is he related to Carmine? He's, He's his not. nephew, yeah. His nephew, He's okay. His sister's son. So right away, yeah. there's the godfather. It's, there are. There yeah, are you want to so talk many, about this? Yeah, because there's only I only have one complaint about this book, yeah. and that is there are way too many Godfather references. Right. It's like <laughs> I did not care for the Godfather. I did. <laughs> I did it, it, it insists upon itself. It insists upon itself. You, you don't could not a, get through it. Never finished. You don't it. read a it book like it. Long Halloween like that. <laughs> you don't. You don't talk to <laughs> God. I'm smart. You know, I'm smart. I can do things. I'm smart, I'm smart. Dad. I'm on Bernardo Falcone. <laughs> I could do things. I had them fl- send flowers to Dent. And because these references make the book ridiculous. Ridiculous. Don't you make know, me look ridiculous. And a man like me can't afford me to so look ridiculous. What did you do? <laughs> Mr. Wayne, I want you to come and let Wayne Imports be part of our business interest. <laughs> I can't remember the last time you invited me over for a cup of Acme coffee. Wayne. Oh, my God. That's a great brand. Star Lab. <laughs> It, for me, it's like I like I love how inspired by The Godfather it is because yeah. Godfather is one of my favorite movies. But some of the lines are s- just literally taken from it. That some it of act- the frames, it, it, it takes me out of it sometimes because I'm it's so engrossed. But then when he's when uh, for instance Luigi Malcone says at one point, "You can act like a man." That's literally That's vetoed literally. to Johnny Fontaine. You can act like a man. Exactly. Like I have seven lines Godfather. from Godfather, Godfather Two. The first Do you spend one. Spend time with your family. Ex- it's a man who doesn't spend, spend time with his family. Yeah. Could never be a man. It's, it literally. We start the book starts by Carmine Falcone going, "I believe in Gotham City." That's the first line of Godfather's. Yeah. I believe in America. God. Yeah. There's. I mean, I'm probably butchering this story, but 
Mario Puzo wrote it, mm-hmm. wrote the book. And, and the screenplay. And the screenplay. And then um, they did the second one, and he was like, I don't really know how to write a screenplay. I'm going to take a class and learn how to write a screenplay. And the first thing in the screenplay class was say, go home and watch The Godfather <laughs> if you want to learn how to write a perfect screenplay. Which, like, I, I think is just what makes this so perfect because like it's one of those you can only tell 126 stories before it starts getting a derivative like 126 original types of stories or you call charlie kaufman and he tells you a story about how you go inside john malkovich's brain yeah (laughs) that's the the best way to do it uh if you're not gonna do a frame by frame (laughs) Godfather retelling in batman which i'm perfect with oh yeah i'm riding with it but i understand the thing of you saying it takes you out yeah that that's that's it's like there was a commercial i saw that i loved I, i forgot what it was even selling but it was like cheap is good and sushi is good, right? But cheap sushi is not good. Not good. Yeah. Like Batman: The Long Halloween is good. The yeah. Godfather is good. But right. like having having Maroni say, "Try the veal; it's the best in the city." The, yeah, literally, like which is a line that Salazzo says in The Godfather yeah. takes yeah. me out of it a little bit. It's like watch a go loop. <laughs> Batman's a foot. <laughs> There's one part where Falcone goes in my home where my children sleep. Yes, which is a Godfather. God, and then he falls in, he up. Is that going, a Godfather two? That's Godfather with, uh, two. With, yeah, uh, when they tried taking out uh, Michael. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then right after that, he goes and on the day of my nephew's wedding. Uh, wet, cut, in the same just, frame. It's like so. I would almost be happier if they directly quoted it, right? Yeah. Like, you just did such a close thing to it. Exactly. That may have been an editor's note, too, where they were like, all right, come on, guys. Like, what are we doing here? We, like, it's like, Jeff, we get it. You love The Godfather. We all love The Godfather. Let's get back to Batman here. And it insists upon itself, Lois. Uh, we're at the wedding, right. what, and uh, Bruce is talking to Carmine. Mm-hmm. Who, side note, Totoro, mm-hmm. perfect Carmine. So good. Pony. So good. It means you took a Hippocratic Oath. Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> Almost does a Pacino laugh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Wow, this is gonna it's be tough. tough. Hey, you want to get nuts? <laughs> Let's get nuts. Ha! Oh. Uh, this is going on. Falcone's trying to get Bruce Wayne to put Wayne Enterprises and him to put some uh, put some of this in the truck. Yeah, running. exactly. He's trying to like do some shady stuff with Wayne Enterprises. Bruce says no. Basically, this wedding is going on for Johnny VD. Bruce comes back as Batman to kind of do some sneaking around. Catwoman's there, too, for her own reasons. Falcone starts shooting at them. They escape. Uh, and basically, Batman kind of meets with Gordon and Dent, and he's just like, hey, we got to we gotta figure out a way to take down Falcone. He's just got, he's too much trouble. He's too evil. And this is that Dark Knight rooftop That's scene. That's the Dark Knight right rooftop there. scene, exactly. Yeah. And so while this is going on, uh, eventually Johnny VD, who is Falcone's nephew, is taking a bath. And a gun comes in while he's bathing with a baby bottle nipple around the gun, like to serve as a silencer. And the gun is pulled and Johnny VD is killed. And that's on Halloween. It's kind of reminded me of um, when they killed uh, Brendan in Sopranos. Oh, yeah. Right? That's exactly what that's jack. like. The perfect. I love a good bathtub. Yeah. Um, it, it wasn't me. It, it was Junior. It, I didn't fucking do it, please. <laughs> oh, Mr. Magoo? That one over there. We need to get him taken care of. That <laughs> nephew of yours. I heard they blew up the dent stash house. His whole money pile. They blew it up. The district attorney. You can't blame it all on the Justice Department, Olivia. <laughs> Whom I don't care for. Poor you. T, I gotta talk to you, T. The fucking dude, the bat came up to you. I don't want to fucking hear this about this fucking bat. What the fuck? He's a man, he's a bat, he's Batman. I don't give a fuck, Christopher. All right? The pork store is suffering right now. Coke. Where's my veal parmesan? Where's the fucking veal parmesan? I want the veal. District Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> Have a seat. Do you need anything? He's a good guy. <laughs> Fucking prick. Uh, t- Tony Soprano. Uh, this guy's a class act. He's not like that Falcone <laughs> fella. <laughs> this is when they, they blur the lines, mm-hmm. right? Like, because Gordon is talking to Harvey and Batman, being mm-hmm. like, we got to take him down. Right. Don't break any laws. Mm-hmm. Batman, you you do what you do. Dent, you do what you do. Yeah. I'm putting you two on the case, mm-hmm. essentially. Essentially. Kind of like, make, this is, he's brokering a team effort between the two. And this kind of feels like the first time maybe Dent and Batman talk to each other. Yeah. They know of each other. But again, Batman believes in Harvey Dent. That is what Bruce wants. That's the change he wants in Gotham because he knows he can't be Batman forever. Right. A guy like Harvey Dent is the change Gotham needs. There's even a you the change I could ever be. Yeah, I could ever the be. symbol yeah. I could I don't know if it's in the book or if it's in the the long Halloween movie, but there's this, a part where they're walking through Arkham, mm-hmm. 
And uh, Gordon's like, you know, hey, Bats, you put all these guys here. And he's like, I didn't want to. I wanted to put them in the prison. This was Harvey Dent, and he was right about it. That's right. You know, like, that is the change that Batman is trying. He can't, You can't. It's like we talked about with Spider-Man. You know, you can't do this forever. Mm-hmm. And this is just a guy. He's just a man. Yeah. He's, he's a man. <laughs> he doesn't have the abilities to keep doing this. You have no parents. You know. <laughs> God. Um, okay, so then that's the end of Halloween, right? Mm-hmm. That's the end of Halloween. And we have some stress going on between Harvey and his wife, Gilda. Exactly. She's not happy. She's not happy. She wants to have kids. Harvey's yeah. like, I got to take care of Falcone. I can't bring kids into this city when you have a guy like Falcone who is just so evil and yeah. so corrupt. Right. Yeah. So we see uh, that's that's sort of the that, – that's where we leave off with Halloween. Mm-hmm. Thanksgiving rolls around. Thanksgiving rolls around. Uh, what and uh, we got James Gordon, uh, Mickey Sullivan, Mickey Sullivan, and <laughs> Batman because there was a bomb mm-hmm. that blew up. Uh, is this what happened in Thanksgiving? Was it uh, was it Harvey's home that blew up? Harvey's yeah, house, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. They put a uh, he he was like walking in with his with Gilda and then it exploded. That's right. right? Is that what happened? Yeah, it's exactly like what happened. You walked it. into your house, it exploded. <laughs> it's crazy. It's gone, you're dead. <laughs> you want to know how I got these scars? It was <laughs> Obama. Fire everywhere. Right away. Very the Mexicans hard. did it, they did it. The Joker is Mexican. <laughs> Sarza Romero. Sarza <laughs> Salad. Caesar Salad. <laughs> Uh, blows. That's So that's how the first, that's how Halloween mm-hmm. ends. The that's house how, blows yeah. up, right? Mm-hmm. They blow up the stash house. Mm-hmm. Catwoman and Batman blow up the stash house, or is it Harvey and Batman that blow up the the, the money house? I think it. I think it's Batman and Dent, right? Batman and Dent blow it up. Mm-hmm. Catwoman may have led them to it. Yeah, I think they because they were chasing each other. Yeah, so right? Bat- Batman and Dent find the money in the stash house, and right. Dent is kind of like you know for two other guys. Batman's like, we can't do it. Right, the Jackie Brown scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ever think about taking one of those Keaton too? Oh yeah, like another a, great Keaton movie. Put him in my pocket. That's my Michael Keaton. I want to work with these guys. <laughs> It's gonna do the hell all day long. Uh, yeah, so they mm-hmm. do this. Uh, they they find the stash house, blow up right. the stash house in retaliation. A bomb gets sent mm-hmm. to Harvey Dent's house. Right. And Hall- Johnny VD is and killed. And Johnny VD is killed in yeah. the bathtub. End of Halloween. Now we're in mm-hmm. Thanksgiving. Now we're, we're Thanksgiving. interrogating Mickey Sullivan, mm-hmm. who is like the guy in uh, the Dark Knight movie. You want to think of him as like a Maroney? Mm-hmm. He's a fall guy. Mm-hmm. I'm the real brains of the operation. The, when, when oh, at the beginning. And, yeah, the, yeah, 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 and Harvey yeah. disarms him. Yeah. You want to kill the district attorney? I suggest you buying Americans. Or... That's a great line. <laughs> great line. Thank you for smoking. Aaron <laughs> Eckhart. Perfect two-face. So good. Yeah, and that that's exactly it. The uh, Gordon Gordon and Batman are interrogating uh, Mickey Sullivan, trying to figure out what happened, uh, why they blew up uh, Dent's home. And meanwhile, they're also wondering what's going on with Johnny Vitti. And we think Harvey's in the hospital. Harvey, uh, Mickey Sullivan actually takes off a mask at one point while talking to Batman and Gordon. We realize that's actually Harvey, who's been in disguise in like a Mission Impossible type mask, trying to get right. information. Yeah, um, this is. Also, when we get Grundy, right? We do, yes. He chased him down into the sewers, right? And sees and he Grundy. Finds Grundy, and uh, he's like, "All right, here, here's the thing, dog. You should just come with me because I know what's down here, and you don't." Mm-hmm. And and Batman's humanity toward Grundy is perfect in this. The only other time I could think where it really hit me in the heart was that Justice League episode with Ace. That girl oh my who God. died, and she knew she was going to die. And, and he stays like, with her. Just stay with me and hold my hand. And he does until until she passes away. That's then, the one where Waller's telling telling Terry McGinnis right, why yeah. he's so good at what and he does. And that's what made me realize what his what's his dog's <laughs> name? Ace. Oh oh wow. Yo, what? I realized Holy that the shit. other night watching the episode. Oh man. my God. Yeah yeah man. What the fuck? My yeah mind. dude. Crazy. I. I consume so much of this content that it's very rare that my mind is blown right. like that. <laughs> but wow. Wow. <laughs> His humanity toward Grundy. He's like, don't just give him to me, buddy. Mm-hmm. I, this is your spot. We have an agreement. Like, right. This is your place. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to mess with you. It's a little bit Grundy. Born on Monday. Leaves him alone. And it's Thanksgiving, too. And what and does he, he do? He gives him a meal. Brings him a plate. He brings him a plate, and you it's a delicious-looking plate. You think Grundy knows that's who brought him the plate? I, I, I don't think so. I, I think, don't think so either. I don't yeah. think he put two and two together. Yeah, I think he just saw food and ate it, but it's still, oh, my God. And then he's got turkey, peas, mashed potatoes, and gravy, oh, stuffing. All made by Alfred. What? 
All Men uh, Bar That was Alfred. Alfred Meal, right? The real hero. Yeah. No, probably, uh, <laughs> Not the hero. The yeah. city is for the one it deserves. But when I was growing up in Burma, <laughs> we didn't have Thanksgiving. <laughs> you think it's Blade Runner 2049. It's in the past, but it's not. It's in the future. Ooh, that's uh, a good cane. <laughs> Mike, the best. I forgot who I heard this from, but if you want to do Michael Kane, which I don't think I could do, but you just say Michael Kane. Uh, well, Michael, Michael Kane, like Kane. that? Michael yeah. Kane. Michael Kane. Michael Kane. Then you do it in Burma. That's just happening here. He stole rubies and you put them in the forest. Well, I steal them. <laughs> Some men don't want to. Oh, I need it for the money. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Ooh, I like that. And I have chlamydia. <laughs> Uh, everything Woody Allen did for me was great. Uh, <laughs> I did too much. Listen, I don't know who this holiday killer is. <laughs> but I'll, I'll find you. <laughs> and the I'll calendar man would be a good uh, uh, Woody Allen. That one. <laughs> he's stealing my ass. He has ass. Yeah, he's like, uh, whoever he or her is, you got to find her. She's going to kill again. Uh, <laughs> Mickey's in uh, prison. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, the uh, Mickey, and- what's happening during Thanksgiving? Well, who dies on Thanksgiving? So who dies is Mickey and his crew. They get out. They make bail. They're, oh, yeah, this was yeah. the big one. Yeah. They're, yeah. Ce- they're celebrating because uh, they basically held the line for Falcone. Falcone paid them off. And then Holiday comes in again and kills all of them. Yeah, they get out of jail, right? Yeah, and then, yeah Holiday comes and guns them down in the rest. Uh, we also should point out the whoever Holiday is leaves behind something. Yes, every time. So That's on Halloween right. they left behind a pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Um, on uh, Thanksgiving they leave behind a cornucopia. That's right. Uh, That's what that word is. I was wondering. Cornucopia. Cornucopia. Do you do? You, did you ever celebrate Thanksgiving? I do. I celebrate. Did you celebrate Thanksgiving? I know. I know. <laughs> I've never been around you kind of before. I know you would know about my voice, but I'm actually deeply anti-Semitic. My grandparents were from Argentina. Yeah, I'm actually I'm actually not even Jewish. Not, I'm no. Episcopalian. You're George Santos. You're Jewish. Jewish. Um. Uh. Yeah. So cornucopia. I don't know what what a cornucopia <laughs> is. I mean, I know what it is. I don't know what purpose it serves, but they left one behind. They did. Uh. And uh. For Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. And then issue three. Christmas. Christmas. This is, I think, my favorite chapter of the book. This is great because our boy comes in, the Joker. Perfect. He's the Grinch here. He is the Grinch. He's so scary looking in this, too. He's the way Tim Sale Mm -hmm. draws him here. Like, it's, and you, and this is peak animated series time, too. So, like, you can't help but draw the comparisons between the two. Perfect. I love him. He's like, dashing through the snow. (laughs) I'm stealing Christmas presents. It's, it's so good. And Joker is jealous right now because Holiday is getting all this attention yes. for killing the Falcone member. I love members. that when we see jealous Joker because yeah. that is why we got death in the family. Mm-hmm. He he unalived Jason Todd because he was jealous of how close he was to Batman. Right. And in this, he is pissed that Holiday is another homicidal maniac. Yes. Right, and that's, that's exactly it. Is. That's literally where there's, all, he, he there's only room the for story. one homicidal maniac. There's only yeah. <laughs> this city deserves a better, a better class of criminal. criminal. I'm, I'm gonna give it to them, um, not unless I'm Jared Leto. <laughs> uh, so he's we got we got uh, so that's where Joker enters right. the story, uh, and and Gordon is uh, worried about the amount of. Inmates that are in Arkham. Uh, uh, too many inmates in here. Uh, uh, too, too many people here. Yeah, Since he showed up. Too, uh, too many crap. Uh, uh, well, well, I want to thank you for bringing them in, but well, we, we, don't got, we don't got the space. Well, well, what about uh, escalation? Well, so the city's taxes. <laughs> Bruce Wayne doesn't pay any. We, we were a b- b- billionaire. <laughs> Oh, 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 poker face. Poker face can't read mine. I haven't slept with my wife in months. Oh, my clitoris. Working these late nights. It's going to take like eight seconds to the climax. with the mayor. What else am I missing at Thanksgiving? What else is going on during Thanksgiving? You mean Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. That's right. I'm sorry. You, Christmas. You, you you nailed it. Where we are right now is Batman and Gordon go to Arkham to talk to a certain villain who might have some insight into what's going on in the holiday killings. The Calendar Man. The Calendar Man, who serves as our Hannibal Lecter of of this story. Oh, sh- dude. Yeah, he yeah. is. Mm-hmm. This just shows you how early into crime fighting Batman is and how underfunded the Gotham City Police Department is. Where mm-hmm. They're like... Let's just maybe Calendar Man could help us out. We could draw if there was a a, a killer going around, and he, his name was Zorro. They would probably go to the first Mexican to 
<laughs> do it in Arkham and be like, hey, you guys all know each other, right? <laughs> and what Calder Man does is he kills people on certain days of the year, very similar to Holiday. Right. And his name is Julian Day, so very on the, na- on the yeah. nose name. Yeah, what do you know about Calder Man? I don't know. That's all about. I know about that's him. All that's, I, that's, okay. that's all I know. Was I know he th- like one of those 30s, 40s Batman villains? He must have been. Because I know he, they brought him back for this. He's kind of like... He was he was a very lame villain, and then they brought him in this, and they made him amazing. It's kind of like what the animated series did for Mister Freeze, who was a very by the book right. like stupid villain. And then they brought him in and made him amazing, and then they put him in Batman and Robin. Sub Zero is like the Sub Zero is so good. Sub Zero Mask of Phantasm, and think. then we get Schwarzenegger playing him. I think it's yeah. time for everybody to just chill out. Chill out. <laughs> I mean, it's ice to meet you. <laughs> what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. No, 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 <laughs> and I'm governor. Cops on the rocks, everybody. <laughs> we have Batman and Joker fighting. Joker has right. this plan to. Do we? Is this? Am I? Am I jumping the gun? I think. Uh, I don't know if they fight. Joker breaks into Harvey Dent's house in this. Oh one. Yeah. yeah, and he he, uh, he does he beat him up. He uh he ba- yeah uh well jo- uh Harvey Dent punches him then Joker beats him up in yeah. front of his wife. Right, yeah. Joe, uh, Harvey gets cuckolded right. in front of Gilda. And then um, at Falcone's penthouse, the Joker is there. The Joker is at Falcone's right. penthouse. And Falcone's kind of like main bodyguard comes outside and is killed by Holiday. Furio is killed by Holiday. Yes. Milos. <laughs> and Give me $1,000. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's who uh, the bodyguard is killed by, right. by Holiday. Uh, not, a, not a high stakes uh, murder, but no. close enough. Yeah. Bodyguard, it it's counts. Just letting you know you're not safe. Yeah, you know? it's a body. It's still, it counts. Yeah. And it's, it's and what and what all these kills have in common is they're all on the Falcone side of things, not the Maroni side of things. Yeah. Um. And then Batman uh sees the globe. Mm-hmm. Uh. He sees Grappa, and he vows he will capture the Joker next right. time. And this is sort of the flaw of Batman, where mm-hmm. like you know. I think you and I are bound to do this forever. Forever. And you would be a bad itself. Forever. The one thing that. I give Jason Todd credit for it, that Death in the Family movie where he's like, I understand you moving on, but like, if he killed you, mm-hmm. I would have killed him right. immediately. That's such a good scene, right? too. Right? Like, and that, and that Joker's like, <laughs> oh, you do think about me. <laughs> Uh, and then he's like, let's do a family photo. First do me and the boy, <laughs> then me and the bat, then one with the crowbar. <laughs> it's such, it's such so a savage good. line. It's just so perfect. Um, and, and Jason Todd is like, I'm not talking about you killing Penguin no, or Dent. It's just him. him because he killed me. Mm-hmm. You know, like, right. And that's sort of the Dark Knight Returns. He does it at the end, right? Where right. he snaps his neck after mm-hmm. he killed all the Boy Scouts. Mm-hmm. Like. But he stops short of killing him in Dark Knight Returns. Like he's right, yeah, he's yeah, not, yeah. Joker has to kill himself. In yeah, there. yeah. And I mean, at that point, I still think like you know, shit. Batman should never kill. Right. Don't get me wrong, but like, what do you do in a situation with the Joker? Oh yeah. What can you do? Mm-hmm. They're the same person, just different sides of the aisle. It's like that Palpatine quote: "The yeah. Jedi and the Sith are the similar mm-hmm. in almost every way." And uh, uh, Anakin only says a Sith speaks in absolutes. Only a Sith speaks in absolutes. <laughs> That whole scene, Palpatine does four evil head guy turns, <laughs> looking at him, and Anakin picks up on nothing. Um, but Anakin's like, the, the Sith rely on the passion for their strength. And Palpatine goes, the Jedi don't. And, and, and Anakin very defensively goes, the Jedi are selfless. They only think about others. <laughs> and you can make those parallels between Batman and Joker right. here, right? We're like, well, they're both relying mm-hmm. on their passion for their strength. I happen to think the Jedi were very wrong. Mm-hmm. Flawed. Yeah. I shouldn't say wrong. Flawed. Just let like the Batman Jedi, is Let flawed. the Jedi nut. Let the Jedi nut. Let the Jedi nut. Let the Jedi nut. That's going to be... <laughs> that's the platform you heard about too. <laughs> let the Jedi nut. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the new trilogy. Let the Jedi nut. Um, the, the, the Batman philosophy is flawed. The Joker philosophy is flawed. But they both need each other and they both exist because of each other. Yeah. Right? Ooh, I love that take. You need it. Yeah. You need, I mean, even in Star Wars, like... The balance of the force still happens with Anakin. Right. 
all, uh, there was what ten thousand Jedi before Order sixty six. Then after Order sixty six, two Jedi, two Sith. <laughs> Shit sounds like balance to me, dog. That's true. You brought balance to the Force. Star Wars tangent. Don't let me go off on one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are we, are we counting Ahsoka as a yep, Jedi? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, mm, I would <laughs> say that she is a, like a Qui Gon level Jedi. Mm-hmm. Qui Gon is a Jedi, right? Qui Gon, rep- he was right. That's why they call that song "Duel of the Fates" mm-hmm. because Obi Wan, Qui Gon, and Darth Maul fighting. Anakin's fate is left in the hands of who survives this fight. Oh yeah. If it's Obi Wan, he's not ready to train Anakin mm-hmm. the way he's supposed to. If it's Qui Gon, that is going to be the person that is ready to train Anakin because Qui Gon is still the embodiment of a Jedi. Right. He studies the Force. He understands the Force. The Jedi Council doesn't. They mm-hmm. don't they're they're politicized. You know there's there's corruption there. Uh so the same way Qui-Gon left the order but stayed in the order. Mm-hmm. It's like being in a relationship but like not. I love you your Star Wars takes. Out. And that's how Ahsoka is. Ahsoka uh-huh. left the Jedi order mm-hmm. because she saw the flaws in it after mm-hmm. being falsely accused of bombing the temple. Right. Goes off, Order 66 happens. Then what does she do during that time? Make sure the Empire doesn't find mm-hmm. any of the baby Jedi. Mm-hmm. And then we see her after the events of Return of the Jedi and she's still like trying to find Thrawn. She's trying to find... That's because that's her... And Ahsoka herself said, I'm no Jedi. Right. Because the Jedi that she was raised on that's not the Jedi that are the Jedi. You know? mm-hmm. Have I said Jedi enough times? <laughs> anyway, chapter four. <laughs> chapter Sorry. Four. What no a one. rant. My bad. No, it was a great rant. <laughs> Thank you. My bad. We, we'll find a way to sneak at a Star Wars episode. <laughs> All right. So what we got here? Uh, New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. That's it. So Joker one of is... The shittiest holiday, in my opinion. A horrible holiday. Horrible Partic- holiday. Particularly in New York. When you get... Oh, my God. I mm-hmm. think that's why I hate it. How yeah. I Met Your Mother nailed it perfectly. They did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With New Year's Eve. Yeah, it Just sucks. horrible. I usually do a comedy show and then I'm I'm home. <laughs> yeah. Sucks. It's it's terrible. And we have uh, Joker is still mm-hmm. out on the on the he's out in the town. He is. Yeah. What yeah. a surprise. <laughs> and what's going on? So Joker is in an airplane and <laughs> fuck <laughs> just. <laughs> so Joker's in an airplane. <laughs> I mean, like Batman has billions of dollars and will still like. Get his ass beaten on Joker on a rental. Can we city show bike. this image too? That's just the best. <laughs> just Joker Amelia Earhart. I love the cover of the clinking of the glasses. He has an airplane. Of course he does. Sure. <laughs> if I'm Jim Gordon, I'm not even stressed at this job anymore. I'm just like, all right. The Joker has a hot air balloon with four members of ISIS and Oats. Not Hall, just Oats. Uh, bad, bad man. He, he, he's right. in the sky right I'm now. Sorry, sorry. How do I get up there? I, 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 I don't got powers. I can't fly. He's up, up, and away. So he's, Joker has an airplane, of course. Yeah, because of course he does. He's going to spread his poison gas all over the city. because. And Joker tells Batman as he tries to stop him, Hey, this is going to be good for you, too, because... It's possible that my poison gas is going to take on Holiday. I, where he's like, there's a good chance that the Holiday Killer is down there in the square. <laughs> so this will take him out. And Batman goes, by killing everyone down there? You're insane. And he goes, you're just realizing that now? Oh, my God. That really is right out of the animated series. Perfect, yeah. It's so perfect. Absolutely perfect. A murder happened Happens on, on a boat. In this yeah. one, usually they happen at the end of the chapter. It's true, but it happens at the beginning of this one on a like the boat. Mm-hmm. Is that on a yacht? Or it's, on a... it's on the uh, yeah. I think it's a yacht. It's celebrating with Fredo. New Year's. Alberto yeah. without without exa- Alberto. Alberto wants to take over the family. He mm-hmm. thinks he's smart. Yeah, but uh, but Carmine Falcone doesn't want this for him. Right, and Alberto Falcone, who's Falcone's son, is killed by Holiday. Killed. This is this is the most important death we've gotten so yes. far by Holiday. Yeah. Um, Harvey comes home. With his wife, she notices Harvey's hair is wet. Right. Oh, yeah. And that's a big thing, right? That Where is. She's like, because there's, is there suspicion at this point that Harvey is holiday? It, I think it's starting to grow. It's starting around here, There's right? suspicion around two people that could be holiday. It could or, be more than one person. Yeah. yeah and right. because Calendar Man keeps saying that, he's H- like. Him or her. Him or her, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like fluently, like right. interchangeably, however he's saying them in mm-hmm. a sentence. Um, so she's a little suspicious of that. Um, but this, this. When you see her coming home and or him coming home with Gilda, mm-hmm. and her being angsty, right. you also see Jim Gordon come home with, with Barbara. And she's mm-hmm. like, "Yeah, this is just a Tuesday it's for the, us. Yeah, it's the like, job. This is what happens. It's the job. It's a, I, 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 I gotta take a shower, Babs. 
<laughs> but yeah, so the bo- so this holiday ends with basically the city coroner, who's going to also play a role later, calls Falcone. He's like, hey, we found a body in the water. Falcone looks at the body, and he sees it's Alberto Falcone and knows his son is dead. Right. Batman gets Joker. Mm-hmm. And has a very irresponsible fight with him in a in a plane. Oh yeah, uh, jumps off the plane and the plane lands in a clock tower, right? That's right. Like uh, as the bell strikes midnight and it's New Year's Day and Batman's Batman's having this is how you know it's his early days of crime fighting because he's taking he's doing something now that he doesn't re- ever really do. He takes his first victory because he vowed on New Year's Eve. To, uh, or he vowed on Christmas that next year he was going to get the Joker. Look how triumphant he looks, too. That's the best. It's so good. He is fulfilling his promise to his parents uh-huh. here. This is where he feels a sense of accomplishment, which right. is not something that he ever really feels ever, ever again, or not really quite explained this way, but you see in this frame the little boy that lost his parents. Mm-hmm. In Batman. He's, yeah. Like, he's keeping the promise he made to his parents' right. grave. Yeah. I'm going to keep the city safe. Also, when it strikes midnight, look at this automatopoeia. The ba- bong. 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 bong, bong, bong. Uh, that's, I bong. just love the, this book predicted 9-11. <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Not a good day to be a superhero. Basically, in this one, Dent and uh, Gordon starts suspecting that Bruce Wayne is tied in with Falcone. And also, neither one of them got their wife anything for Valentine's Day. Yeah, they're really hilarious. Just not great husbands. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody. <laughs> I mean, it's, Batman has an excuse, at least, uh, for, like... It's also funny that, like, he doesn't know Catwoman is Selena Kyle, and Selena Kyle doesn't know that he's Batman. That's true. Like, you guys have been making out a lot. I know. In and out of costume. Did you not be like, hey, this tastes like Bruce? I hate the Green Lantern movie in so many ways, but it did have one great line in it when uh, when uh, Blake Lively sees Hal Jordan and she's like in costume. She goes, "Hal, I know that's you." Like she's like, "I've slept with you." Like I like what? Just because I can't see your cheekbones? Obviously, you're the Green Lantern. <laughs> yeah, it's the Superman glasses thing, right? right. <laughs> Where he takes them off. Like, now you wow. see me. Now you don't. Which I always kind of looked at as like a fuck you to the media, you know, like. <laughs> Oh, you guys couldn't figure that out. Right. Good job. Um, All Star Superman does a great job, though. Yes, of like, explaining yeah, that. Yeah, we, we'll get to that. Which, but, that's our yeah. next. We got we got that one coming up. I'm oh, yeah. excited for that bad boy. Um, so Valentine's Day. Uh, this the the villain in this one in this chapter is it? Do we, is this Scarecrow yet? No. This is uh, Poison Ivy. Poison, right? Because okay, he's so he, tells yeah. what's going on. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. So he's on a date with Selena Kyle, and this woman comes up to him with a rose and. Bruce Wayne pricks his finger on the rose, and he starts bleeding. And then we see that the person with the rose is Poison Ivy. Yes. Um, and it gets into uh, some kind of toxin, Ivy toxin. Right. Some, gets into his mind. Something like that. And now she has control over Bruce. Exactly. And um, that brings us into St. Patrick's Day, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, where oh, we, but uh, we also oh. have to remember who gets killed in this chapter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's the Moroni people. R- oh yeah, yeah. And, the, and then he leaves the the killer leaves the box of chocolates. That's exactly it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Moroni's lost everything at this point. Right. Uh, Gordon and Harvey Dent both show up at their houses with uh, their wives. So look how look how fucking built Harvey is. Dude is cut. God, man, that is uh, Harvey. Two <laughs> scoops of creatine right there. <laughs> Bruce is under mind control. In issue six, chapter mm-hmm. six, St. Patty's Day, right? Mm-hmm. Falcone is working with Ivy. Exactly. Right? To get uh, Bruce Wayne to do the business. Right. To merge the banks, merge his stuff with, to, to legitimize Falcone. Yeah. Basically, Falcone wants to put his money in the Gotham Bank, in which yes. Bruce is the, the right. chairman of the board. And by working with Poison Ivy, Falcone can now do that. And this is a big step for Falcone, who vowed to never work with costumed freaks. Right. Yeah. yeah. And Fre- freaks. Freaks. <laughs> they won't work with a freak. Shut up, you freak! Why don't we cut you up and feed you to your poaches? Why don't you see how hungry a lo- or how loyal a hungry dog really is? <laughs> it's not about the it's money. Not, it's it's about, about sending a message. And here, that's what I say every time I send a dick pic. <laughs> This is a message that you're going to have to open in four attachments. It's a message that I have herpes. This is Gotham's <laughs> White Knight, and you should get yourself checked out. It's only type 1. <laughs> it's type 1, and there is no type 2. 
<laughs> we go right to four, baby. Uh, Catwoman saves the day in this chapter, right? She does. Yeah, because she... She notices Bruce. She's noticed Bruce is acting off. Yeah. And he goes, and she goes to his mansion and sees Ivy's there. And and when they, they get into a... Uh, <laughs> I was trying not to say this, but... Cat fight! <laughs> right? And then... um. She cuts off all the vines mm-hmm. to the to Ivy's thing. That That's has right. Bruce over mind control, and then he's free, and then still clueless as to her being Selena Kyle. Uh, and then we get the holiday killing. That's right. Who he is more Maroni people. <laughs> more Maroni people. He's like, can a guy catch a break? <laughs> What's great is Falcone early on is like, they're taking out all my men. They took out maybe like five Falcone men. Of course, yeah, they do kill his son uh, or kill. We'll get to that. Right. That's, and, that's Sunny and Godfather. They, they, yeah, they take out literally all of Maroni's people. Yeah. Like, yeah all literally. Maroni's people are yeah. getting killed. They're Mexican, my boy. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, all they all they go, uh, all the Maroni people peace out. Uh-huh. They get uh, uh, dearly departed, and then that brings us to April Fools, right? April Fools with the Riddler. The Riddler. Uh, this is back when they were still calling him Edward Nigma, not Edward Nashton. Oh, I forgot they changed yeah. it from Edward Nigma. That's such a Stanley thing. <laughs> Enigma, Edward Nigma. What up, my Nigma? <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, Falcone hires the Riddler. Mm-hmm. He's he's really not learned his lesson <laughs> no. here. Um, to, to to find out who the holiday is. He does exactly. So basically, Falcone's wondering who Holiday is, and Batman's wondering who Holiday is, and they're both trying to figure it out. Riddler's ba- breaking down the scenarios. Batman's talking to Alfred, breaking down the scenarios, and then Alfred says to Batman, "There's one guy you forgot about who could be Holiday." And Batman goes, "I know, it's Calendar Man." And Alfred goes, "No." Who is it? And Batman goes, fuck. It's, it's probably Harvey. It's Harvey. It's probably Harvey mm-hmm. at this point. Occam's razor. The most, uh, do they, do they say that? In no, this? but I love that. You, I love the phrase Occam's razor. Yeah. I love I, that you I, just I, use that. We're the most, uh, the most likely, uh, uh, you, yeah. Occam's razor. I know what it means. I can't explain it. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's, knowing the lyrics to a song, but my mouth doesn't. Yeah. Well, it's, it's the, whatever, the, whatever w- most scenario is thing, the most likely is, is probably the, the most, most likely. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I have, this Batman, uh, cowl is cutting off the circulation of my brain. <laughs> uh, circulation the to circulation my brain. Is not there. <laughs> I'm, uh, losing air. Everything is stars. <laughs> Pow. Pow. <laughs> uh, um, and then, uh, Dent and Gordon think that it's, Bruce Wayne. Right. They think it's Holiday. Bruce. Yeah. Because of... What makes them think that? Uh, because of all the shit he's doing. Oh, like, because of everything that just happened with the Ivy yeah. control and the, them, the banks transferring over. And I think they've started yeah. to figure out the connection between Thomas Wayne and Falcone. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, uh, which did... They don't explain that in... Do they explain that in this chapter? Uh, they have Falcone... Ex- we'll get to it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah they yeah. haven't explained it yet. Well, um, Falcone kind of gets sick of the Riddler. Mm-hmm. His daughter... Threatens to kill him. Yeah, so he has a daughter, Sophia, Sophia Gigante, who's really strong. Yeah, like and says, and Falcone says, if your life depended on it, who is Holiday? And Riddler goes, uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect answer. That's such a Jim Carrey answer as Riddler here. Like, mm, I'm gonna say, all righty then. It was you. If it's you or me. You every time. Uh, and then who who do we get? Who gets it in this one? Who ca- who does holiday cap? Nobody. Nobody gets it on April Fool's Day, which is perfect. It's so perfect. They holiday comes in, shows up, shoots at Riddler, but just deliberately misses and leaves an umbrella for some reason. That's that's the thing they leave behind on April Wait, Fool's. let me say, I'm a good shot. I'm a good shot, Henry. I'm a good shot. Who's not a good shot from this distance? Uh, yeah, perfect. Perfect way to twist it. Nope. Also, quick quick aside, Ed, 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 Tommy DeVito's horrible in that scene in Goodfellas. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? He's just as bad, though. De, De Niro. Like, I mean, he's the one oh, egging yeah, him yeah. on. You're going to take that? Yeah, you're going to let you're him gonna, get away with it. You're going to get away with it? What's this world coming to? What's this world coming to over here? What's I was kidding. I was fucking kidding. You said, I just wasn't all you kidding. And then I was supposed to get it. You're going to dig the fucking hole. You're going to dig it. And then Val, uh, <laughs> Falcone in this movie is sort of... Uh, De Niro in um, The Untouchables. Oh, yeah. I want Holiday. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want his dog-fed chocolate. I want his wife dead. I want his grandmother brought back to life just so we could kill her. I want her dead again. I want him dead. That's such an underrated movie, too. Dead. <laughs> you want to know how dead. to get Falcone? That's he puts what? one of yours in the hospital dead. and you put one of his in the yeah, board. 
<laughs> I'll hit my wife as many times as I have to, boy Uh the the yeah, De Niro perfectly did the comic book movie thing right. Oh yeah. In uh Joker. Oh yeah. Right? Like perfect role for him, just phoning it in and when he gets shot in the face. I look at him as, like, punishment for doing Meet the Parents. It's also a great homage to the King of Comedy. Yes. Where he's essentially playing the Jerry Lewis role in that movie. Yeah, he, yeah. He, right, yeah. And and Joaquin is mm-hmm. playing the, the Travis role. Yeah, they're the, yeah, 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 Travis, exactly, yeah. Travis and Rupert Pumpkin. That's what like, that whole yeah, movie yeah. is. Yeah, totally. Um, and so it's just good to watch it. <laughs> well, we, we don't think that kind of humor is funny, Arthur. <laughs> we do a knock-knock who's there, Arthur. <laughs> That's that's the thing. That's the area where you have to suspend belief the most in that movie. Is that the fact that De Niro would be a Johnny Carson type, likable enough to be a talk show host? <laughs> Just a you mumbling, stuttering prick, you yeah. De Niro. Uh, uh, now we got Mother's Day, which if I'm a villain in Gotham City, I am not a dude who is gonna want to mess with Batman on Mother's Day. No, you will not. It also starts with the creepiest image. Yes, look at this shit that's of a great Calendar black Man. And white. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, God, he looks like a uh, what's his name from Game of Thrones. Oh, he looks like Varys. Varys. He does look yeah. like Varys. Yeah. That's who I read uh, Calendar Man in. When I was reading it this time, I read oh, it in Varys' voice. I love that. Yeah, he like, he has no cock, but a bunch of calendars. Uh, so it's Mother's Day. Uh, Batman goes back to Arkham. Right? That's right. And he's trying to get some uh, more answers out of Calendar Man. Uh, Who gives him nothing, per gets usual. Gives nothing out of him. Uh, and then uh, a guard at Arkham, mm-hmm. what happens? Guard starts freaking out. He's sweating. He's screaming. And Batman goes, okay, only one guy could be behind this. Jonathan Crane, the and Scarecrow. Scarecrow has escaped. Scarecrow's gone. One of my, I would put him, I put him right behind the Joker as my favorite Batman villain. Mm-hmm. I would love to I love see that. a Joker movie of Scarecrow. Uh, He's three for me, but yeah. with Joker one. Uh, Joker one. And uh, and Harvey two. Harvey two. Yeah, that's a good tier yeah. list. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we got a similar taste. <laughs> uh, we go, so Scarecrow's out. And uh, Gordon, while that's going on, Gordon and are Gordon and Dent at Wayne Manor? They are uh Or is it just Gordon? That's a good question. I think they both yeah, show up there. I think it's just Gordon. Oh, it's just Gordon who goes uh, to uh, Wayne. Mr. Alfred. <laughs> how, 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 how Pennyworth. <laughs> Uh, pennies worth uh, one cent, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Back in my day, that bought you a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> but not, not with cheddar. But now what's a, a day? With American cheese. a piece cheese. of bread, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, nowadays, what's a penny worth, Alfred? <laughs> uh, it must be a- worth a lot in this big old mansion. Oh, there's, there's my Tony Soprano ringtone. Who is calling me in the middle of the podcast? Oh, it's my dad. Scarecrow's escaped. Batman thinks he's caught Scarecrow, but it's an actual, literal Scarecrow, yeah. and it's filled with his gas, and he gets doused with the fear gas. While he And he's, he's over the grave of his mother, yes. right? And mm-hmm. he keeps seeing his mother's face, or mm-hmm. his mother's clawing him down, or whatever. That's right. Um, and he's, he's it's kind of like- Why'd you say that name? Why did you say that name? This is kind of like him in Batman Begins when mm-hmm. uh, Scarecrow talks into him, right. right? And he was seeing all that. Holiday um, breaks into- uh, who Holiday takes out who in this one? He takes out the guy who's been making the guns for uh, for Holiday. Mm-hmm. So they call him the gunsmith or something like that. Uh, in Chong's Tea House. That's right. Which yeah, a, he goes by the like gunsmith. a Seinfeld name. <laughs> uh, and then yeah. um, Bruce goes to Crime Alley. That's right. Which it's just like a Norm Macdonald joke. <laughs> Oh, uh, what did uh, Batman's uh, parents uh, went for a walk around right uh, to Crime Alley? <laughs> And then uh, they they got shot in Crime Alley. <laughs> and then they died in Crime Alley. Uh, uh, so, uh, we could have avoided this if they went down another street. Not called uh, Crime Alley. Oh, man. R.I.P. to the great one. R.I.P. And yeah, he goes to, this ends with him at Martha Wayne's tombstone. And Gordon takes him in for running away. And then it brings us to the next holiday you don't want to mess with Batman on, which is Father's, Father's Day. Day. Um, and this is where we learn that Falcone um, took his Falcone's dad. That's right. Took him Carmine mm-hmm. to Thomas Wayne, mm-hmm. who was wounded, and mm-hmm. Thomas Wayne, who was a doctor, mm-hmm. operated on Carmine Falcone and saved his life. Right. And this kind is of- the Batman. The Pattinson movie, yeah, stuff. Exactly. He's, exactly, he's kind of functioning like the Joe DeRosa character in Better Call Saul. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, and uh, Bruce Wayne is in prison, right, for 
his connection to Carmine and helping him in the mob business because exactly. of Poison Ivy's mind control. And because he ran away because he, ran, he was yeah. uh, because he was doused with right. the... Right, uh, and um, uh, in this one, we get Holiday taking out the most <laughs> stereotypical, offensive Italian name ever, Luigi Moroni, That's right? like if my name was like Heschel Shlomo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gabagool Fettuccini, over here, give me here. My name is Vio Parmesan, I eat known. <laughs> Um, he get uh, Luigi gets taken out, um, uh-huh. and uh, and before he gets taken out, his son Sal says to him, "Dad, what should I do?" He goes, "You can act like a man," and I'm like, "Just say something else. Stop lifting lines from Godfather." <laughs> this is why they're like, "Okay, yeah, let's don't worry about dialogue. Let's just do big picture <laughs> stuff here." Uh, what oh, a great image this is, though. So great, oh, man, of him holding his. Oh God, so good. Yeah. Uh, as a consequence to this. We see Sophia uh, at, uh, or after this, we see Sophia and Falcone at the penthouse, mm-hmm. right? Gigante. Mm-hmm. Uh, she gives him a present. Mm-hmm. Um, is she leaving the business? I I don't think she's leaving the business. I think she's just, she's giving her dad a present, uh, and he gives, like, a, a kind of tepid response because he's still mourning his son. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, so there's everything's falling apart right yeah. now for all the crime families. Um, Gilda finds Harvey alone uh, in, his, uh, in, in the apartment. Mm-hmm. Uh, Harvey's with his lucky coin. Yeah. Tells him the story about how his old man used to beat his ass. That's right. Right? And he would be, if, if it's heads, I'm going to beat you. If it's mm-hmm. tails, I'm not going to touch you. Right. Right, and he's telling her that story, and and the coin has been sort of a thing this whole time. Mm-hmm. Like when they burn down the stash house, heads, heads we burn it, tails we leave it. Right, right with the money. Exactly. And uh, uh, he makes his own fate. Makes his own luck. Creates his own luck. Um, Bruce gets out of jail. Bruce gets out of jail. He's acquitted. And Falcone is like, you know what? I've enjoyed working with these villains. It's getting the job done. So it turns out Falcone's the one who broke Scarecrow out of prison. Right. And is also working with the Mad Hatter, Jarvis Tetch. Yes. Um, and then uh, we get uh, Vernon. Vernon is in this one. He's sort of like Harvey's assistant, the mm-hmm. glasses guy. Yeah. Right? He plays a big part. In I that. like that they call him a young man, and he looks like he's in his 60s. He looks like Professor Frank. He does like, look like, like Frank. Jesus, he, he dude. me, uh, Mr. Harvey Dent, but watch out for the acid. <laughs> <laughs> in the face and half the poison. Oh, with the burning. All of a sudden, Dent is concerned <laughs> about my ulcer. <laughs> Um, the indigestion is hurting. Indigestion and the, oh, the crime is eating him up from the inside. His two faces, is a reflection of his two personalities. Yeah, I wouldn't be so weird if with I ever slept with a lady. The la- <laughs> with the gleeman in it. I should play Obi-Wan Kenobi with the swinging and the gleeman. And- uh, Vernon gets Vernon and Harvey have a conversation at the mm-hmm. DA's office. Mm-hmm. Um, Dent comes face to face with Maroney. That's who right. Offers a makes him an offer. He, can, he makes him an offer he can't refuse. Mm-hmm. Based- stop Falcone once and for all. He's yeah. like, listen, we got to team up to stop Falcone. He's Somewhere, covered in his father's blood. Yes, exactly. Because he mm-hmm. uh, and then we get Independence Day. That's right. Which again, the murder happens sort of at the start of this one, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And they they they. Kill who? Who gets killed? They, they kill. The they kill the office. coroner. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. And they leave a mini Statue of Liberty replica. Oh yeah. Um, Look at that. Which I think is so funny with the Gotham uh, fireworks skyline. Gotham skyline fireworks. Then you got Bruce Wayne on a date with Selena Kyle. <laughs> uh, the bat signal is activated. Best way to get out of a date. <laughs> Gotham needs me. <laughs> Uh, Batman gets. To I love you, honey. I, love you know, I have to go. You got the signal. <laughs> if your name was Gotham, I would I would be here. To Batman having the this meeting um, with Harvey. Mm-hmm. Harvey's telling him that uh, he made a mistake blaming Bruce Wayne. That's right. Uh, he arranged a deal with Sal Maroni. He's going to get him to confess against Falcone. Uh, Harvey tells Batman that he's going to leave the city after Falcone's arrested. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gordon comes and tells them about Holiday's latest victim at the coroner's office. Mm-hmm. Maroney's in jail. Uh, Sophia visits him. Uh, we have a kind of a fun thing that happens here with Sophia and Falcone. Uh, Maroney? Yep, Maroney. Because she's like, the reason... She's like, I never betrayed you, dog. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm here. 
It's fine. Like I'll run. It's like Phil Leotardo. Yeah, I I did twenty years <laughs> in the can. I wanted to. I wanted better gods. <laughs> I had grilled cheese off a radiator. Gilda, we get some Gilda and Barbara stuff happening. Gilda's worried about Harvey. She's mm-hmm. I think really suspects that he's Holiday at this point. That's right. Um, and is trying to protect him and is. Just sort of trying to feel out Barbara Gordon, just mm-hmm. being like, I'm worried about him. What could we do? You've been dealing with this for a lot longer than I have. Can you give me any advice here? Um, Gilda just wants to have Harvey back. Right. She's like, I miss you. Uh, and we have Batman and Gordon at the docks, checking out the scene of the crime. Mm-hmm. Catwoman's not too far away. Uh, fireworks. Uh, we get a bunch of lights happening, mm-hmm. and it's the Scarecrow's fear toxin, right? Uh, remote Nailed control it. fear toxin. You are nailing this right now. This right? I just have bullet points where I wrote it down. I'm I, sorry, you, I hijacked this. No, 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 no. This is perfect. Uh, we get the fear. Uh, it's the fear toxin, um, and it explodes in front of Batman, and he <laughs> just beats beats him. This beats is, him for making him see his mother like that. This is not a fair fight. <laughs> not either. at all, man. That is the that is a pounding. Crane, he Crane is a thin ass professor. And look at Mad Hatter. Look at look nothing. At, you can't beat up a guy look, like Mad look Hatter. Look at this guy. Look at him. He is mentally ill. His name that is, is just, Jarvis. <laughs> this guy is not going to put up a fair fight. It's like if his the only thing that make it worse is if his name was Herbert or some shit. <laughs> um, and then uh, they go. They do they put him back in Arkham. They yeah uh, they do and uh, they put it they put a, they uh, they put him back in Arkham and it basically just ends with Scarecrow and Mad Hatter just like passed out on the ground yeah and then we have uh, the Roman holiday Roman holiday which I don't know what that yeah, yeah what day what day is that I don't know I think it's the date that Godfather came out yeah I don't know, it's, it's some kind it's of August second so, August second some Gentile holiday, holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah it's like one of the <laughs> <laughs> no Yom Kippur in this no Yom Kippur yeah thank God we know one thing about uh, the holiday Eddie. I'm so hungry he's right Jewish <laughs> yeah, he doesn't kill on Saturday I just want to eat a sandwich <laughs> twenty five dollars at Kansas <laughs> it's all beef no bread inflation uh, am I right we start <laughs> we find. And, and we start the chapter with Gilda finding the 22. That's right. In her house. Uh-huh. And ask Harvey, where did this come from? Uh huh. And he's like, wasn't me. Yeah. He goes, she got me on the counter. Who wasn't, wasn't me? me? Got me at the Gotham Harbor. Who wasn't, wasn't me? me? Even kill Falcone. Who oh, wasn't was me? His son. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we have the trial. This mm-hmm. is the trial, right? This is the tr- uh wait, oh. There's the trial, chapter 12. Let me see. This is. Oh, yeah, this is chapter 11. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, this is where it this happens, is right? It. So this is the trial of Sal Maroney. Mm-hmm. Um, while that's going on, Batman is looking for Riddler, mm-hmm. uh, and he finds a drunk dude in a bar. Mm-hmm. Batman asks him about Harvey's identity. The Riddler doesn't really know who he is. Batman brings up that Karma and Falcone might be involved, mm-hmm. may not be involved in who the holiday killings are. Right. Uh, and the day of the trial is the, the same day as uh, Falcone's birth. Day? Oh yeah, that's his exactly birthday, right. right. Yeah, and it's, it's Falcone's birthday. His family has something special for him. They have a birthday present right. for him. They got a special little present for him. Um, and as Maroni walks into the courthouse, Vernon, Vernon, uh, who is supposed to be in his twenties, the assistant yeah, DA, like how t- uh, Joe Pesci is supposed to be twenty eight in Good Fellas, <laughs> right? you know, exactly. like Vernon. <laughs> What does Vernon do? So Vernon gives him a, a, a bottle of medicine for Maroney's ulcer. All of a sudden, Maroney's worried about my ulcer? That's worried about my ulcer? <laughs> right. The DA? And I love this shot of just the, the, courthouse. the courthouse. Oh, my God. It is so beautiful. It's so better call Saul. And you see, you see that guy in the corner in the beanie, right? Who is it? The, uh, the, guy, the guy with the beard all the way in that corner. Oh, that's yeah, 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 yeah. That's 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 our that's Bruce, right? That's Bruce. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they call Maroney to the stand. Mm-hmm. Dent does. Uh, and then at the same time, this is happening. Uh, Sophia uh, is is uh, going to the penthouse mm-hmm. with a cake. That's right. Right. Uh, and in the courtroom. Maroney starts coughing. Mm-hmm. This is all happening simultaneously. He's coughing, he's coughing. He goes to reach for his bottle while Dan is approaching the stand, and then he throws. And before he throws, though, it cuts to Bruce, who's in the corner in disguise. Right. And he knows something's wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, yeah. right, yeah. And yeah. The, the, he goes, something is wrong yeah. here. And this is why I personally think this is the greatest tragedy of Batman's career 
the transformation of Harvey Dent into Two Face because this is what is what is happening is Maroney throws this acid right. in Dent's face. Bruce yeah. was there. He could have stopped it. He has the skills. This is a guy who's been trained to be the greatest fighter in the world. He is a genius, but he wasn't able to pick up. And that's always that his ethos. Acid. Exactly. He's never there. He w- he is motivated by the fact that he wasn't there to stop it. Right. Right. And like, he's always vowing to never let it happen again. Exactly. It's like that scene in Batman Begins when Ra's al Ghul says to him, he goes, your parents' death was not your fault. Right. It was yeah. your father's. It was your father's. He being, failed yeah. to act. Bruce failed to act here. He could have saved his yes. friend Harvey Dent one of the true allies he had in the city, and he wasn't fast enough. The last hope for Gotham. The last hope for Gotham. real change. Um, and then they get the acid thrown in the face. Oh, my God. And and God. Harvey is writhing. This is what was supposed to happen in Dark Knight Part 2. Oh, yeah, that's the, right. It was going to be the trial of the Joker, mm-hmm. and he was going to be the one that threw it in his face. Um, that would have been cool. Which, I mean, he still. <laughs> I love the fact that he did... He's still responsible for it, you oh, yeah. know. Um, and the see, madness of, is like they, gravity. Yeah, it's just, it just, just needs a little push. It needs a little push. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? Uh, so he's now his face is is, is uh, burnt off. Mm-hmm. He gets Michael Jackson Pepsi commercial to his face. Face is on fire. Um, doctor, I, I was smiling as you're saying this, just because I I love Batman so much. And I love. It. I'm not happy that Harvey Dent got burned. No, I know. Yeah, but this is just this so is perfect. <laughs> Panel. I right. mean, this is a perfect book, and this is like quintessential Batman must read. Exactly. You have to, because this is it. This mm-hmm. is exactly how this happens. This is like how, how Harley Quinn wasn't a character in the comics, but she was so influential that she is all over the place now. Right. She's never in the, This is like everything gets rewritten based on this story. Based off this story and this line that Jeff Loeb writes from What's he Bruce's say? perspective. He goes, I will, ne- I will never forget the sound of his screaming. Oh God! Yeah. As Harvey's face is burned. Yeah, man, it's it's sort of allegorical to the Crime Alley thing, you mm-hmm. know, where he's on a bad mushroom trip and he still ends up back to the place where it all started. That's for oh wow! Um, yeah. And he never he, he never forgot the the image of his parents being there. He's never going to forget Harvey screaming like that because right. he f- felt like he could have done something. Um, and then we get the la- the the Roman Holiday mm-hmm. killing. Mm-hmm. Who do they kill? They kill Falcone's sister. Carla. Carla. Peace out, Carla. <laughs> uh, then we got Labor Day. Harvey's missing. Also, again, what happened? Oh, yeah, what I missed. What Sorry. happened when Harvey Harvey's at the hospital and his surgeon goes, Mrs. Dent, your husband is gone in a very arrested development <laughs> life. <laughs> God, yes. God. He's like, he's, he's, uh, what, the, what was the arrested development scene where he's like, your, your son is going to be all right? <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> No, maybe I should have phrased that differently. He's lost his left hand. <laughs> you are the worst doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Yeah. Um, then uh, Harvey, Harvey's gone. He's gone. He's, He's gone missing, missing by Labor Day. Mm-hmm. This is Dark Knight again. You know, this That's is where right. they get it from. Uh, now he's Two Face, mm-hmm. and while he's missing, he comes across Solomon Grundy, mm-hmm. who attacks Harvey. Uh, and Harvey uh, starts singing the nursery rhyme that he was named after, the Solomon Grundy. You are crushing this outline right born now. Born on Monday. I mean, I, just, I, just, <laughs> I really was like, I've read this book so many times, and right before we were about to do it, I was like, why don't I remember anything that happens in this? I'm and, like, re- I'm like ready to like, correct, like as I'm going through these pages, be like, well, actually, well, you, actually, you, you, like you, I you. <laughs> no, you've nailed every single. You scene. broke my Batmobile. <laughs> Uh, Broke it or made it better. <laughs> made it better. Uh, we, they, so we get Grundy and um, this scene with Grundy and Harvey mm-hmm. is making Harvey wonder if a man can live two lives. Right. Lemon, is it possible for a man to love two women? <laughs> uh, and Batman and Gordon find out that Harvey was carrying a twenty two in his briefcase. Right. The day he got acid thrown in his mm-hmm. face, right? So, so they're, they're thinking like, he must have been holiday. Him. Yeah. Um, That's what's so good about this book is like I still don't know who Holiday is when I was reading this for the first no, time. No, yeah, uh, and and you you think you know who he is, right? And you keep going. Well, maybe I don't know who he is. <laughs> uh, then they go to the Batman goes to Falcone's penthouse. Mm-hmm. Where's Harvey Dent? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck you want from me, Bats. Where the fuck are you showing up here in tights? <laughs> the Don doesn't wear shorts. Um, <laughs> Batman was being spied on by Catwoman this whole time, a few buildings away, because, you know, she says she was done with him, but she just can't stay away. <laughs> and uh, Batman is really, the <laughs> clock is running out, and he's really trying to find Harvey Dent. He goes to Harvey's house and finds Gilda. That's right. 
and um, asks her where her husband is. She's like, I, I, I don't know. She's worried. She's, she asks, Gilda is worried about Harvey and asks Batman to find her Harvey, find mm-hmm. my Harvey. Um, Batman goes to Arkham. To, maybe Calendar Man will help me a third time. Hasn't worked yet. <laughs> He is like the worst Jody Foster ever in this movie. I have a good feeling about this. I heard the sheep. They were there screaming. I like him because he looks like John Malkovich. <laughs> uh, Where is know, the holiday killer? Well, who is you this fucking guy? moron. I mean, what is his motivation? His or her motivation here? Um, he, uh, after he goes to Arkham to talk to Calendar Man, then Calendar Man tells him that Holiday's going to kill somebody under... Mm-hmm. Custody, right? right? That's what's going to happen next. Mm-hmm. Then what happens? And so they're like, all right, it's probably going to be Maroney. So Gordon decides to move Maroney along with a security guard. Holiday appears, kills Maroney, shoots the security guard, and then we see who Holiday is, and it's Alberto Falcone. Fredo! Fredo! I'm smart! I can do things! I can do things, Mike. I'm smart. I'm Mike. Is that why you slap around my brother all the time? <laughs> I'm Mike. We was only fooling, that's all. Hey, Fredo, what He's out here Mickey Mouse screwing nightclub? cocktail waitresses two at a time, Batman. <laughs> um, then we get... You don't talk to a man like Alberto <laughs> Falcone like, like, that. like that! Mo Green! Uh, then we get our, our last <laughs> chapter, No More Holidays. This chapter is called Punishment. That's right. Which I love. Oh, yeah. Uh, because you think it's Batman going to mm-hmm. be delivering the punishment down. But mm-hmm. honestly, it's something kind of... He almost kind of gets punished. He does. What will he, uh, let us? What, so Alberto Falcone is out at his holiday because he's trying to prove himself to be... He's trying to wean out the, the old, bring in the new. Right. Essentially. And he had shot the security guard who we realize gets back up and is Batman. And he faked his own death? Alberto Falcone faked his own death because he wanted to prove that he could run his dad's business. Right. He wanted to take out his dad's enemies, but because he shot a security guard, that was Batman. Bullets mean nothing because he's wearing Kevlar. Batman beats the shit out of Alberto Falcone. As he is one to do. As he is one to do. With his nuclear-ass Arkham Asylum punches. <laughs> um, then uh, we get... Uh, Carmine... Oh, wait. It's Halloween again. This is a year it's, later. This is a year it's later. A Halloween. It's now Halloween. Right, okay. Um... James and Barbara, vi- Gordon and Barbara visit Gilda. Oh, where's Harvey? Wait, 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 we don't know where he is. Uh, <laughs> Harvey's gone uh, uh, m- 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 missing. <laughs> we, we don't know where he's g- g- gone with the wind. I wasn't in that one because I decided to do a miracle on 34th Street. <laughs> the miracle was there was there so many other streets. <laughs> um, they go visit him. She doesn't know where he is. Um, they go back to Arkham. Mm-hmm. Calendar Man. Uh, flips a coin. Uh, wait, what happens with Calendar Man? Yeah, so what happens is they're all like, well, "Where's Harvey?" They're right. wondering where he is. Oh yeah, this is yeah. where I was getting mixed Har- up. Yeah, yeah. Harvey's, and at Harvey's Arkham. in Arkham with Calendar Man. Exactly. And flips a coin to decide mm-hmm. if he's going to free Calendar Man or not. Exactly. And so, at this point, is Harvey's coin scratched? His coin is it still double headed? I think we can't see if it's it's still double headed. Uh, I don't know if we see if it's scratched yet. But we do see that he lets out Joker, Identity Unknown, that's Joker. Right, yeah. He lets out Scarecrow, he yeah. lets out Poison Ivy. Joker, yeah. Penguin. Mm-hmm. Uh, does, or, or does he does he let them all out? Does he let out the rogues? Yeah, he lets out he all lets the rogues, out, except, except for Calendar out. Man. Except for Calendar yeah. Man, which is just <laughs> so great. Um, and uh, the, the gangs are out, mm-hmm. um, and uh, Harvey... Is basically revealing himself to be the crime, the new crime boss of a new crime family mm-hmm. at this point, right? As Two Face. That's right. And he, they break into Carmine Falcone's house. Yeah. And this, oh my God, this shot of basically. Oh man. Every iconic s- Batman villain. God, that's the last thing I want to see before I die. <laughs> that's exactly how I want to go out. Um, and uh, also, I, I realized I said every iconic Batman villain. That's a testament to Batman's rogues because I realized there are five amazing ones that aren't even in here. There's like. No Bane, no yeah. Ra's al Ghul. Yeah, like, right. This is, I mean, you can have this many yeah. and it's still not overloaded. Exactly. Like, it's the perfect amount. Um, and they have the big act, they have the third act fight scene, right? Uh huh. Um, Batman f- recognizes Harvey mm-hmm. as Two Face. That's right. Uh, and Two Face is like, Anakin is gone. <laughs> I am what remains. <laughs> uh, Batman tries to bring him back. Think twice about this. Put the gun down, Harvey. Right. Um, 
Two Face tosses his coin, lands on, on the scarred side. Mm-hmm. So like, it is. I mean, maybe it, maybe I just wrote that down in my notes. Um, and Two Face shoots Falcone twice in the head. He does right. Um, and Sophia loses her her shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, Catwoman in her fight mm-hmm. is that what happened? That's right. And Sophia God. and Sophia falls out a window. Sophia falls out of a window. Jesus. Uh, see you next fall. <laughs> Uh, Two Face goes to the DA's office with uh, Vernon, uh-huh. the sixty-year-old, twenty-seven-year-old man. <laughs> um, does he kill him? He does. He does kill Vernon, right? He kills Vernon. He leaves the gun behind, as well as the two fo- the Two Face coin, right? And so Two Face is now killed twice tonight. He's killed Carmine yeah. Falcone, and he's killed Vernon. And then what happens when Batman gets to GCPD? So he gets there, and he sees Two Faces there, and he sees Gordon is there. And and uh, and they go surprise. <laughs> um, and they have the Gordon or uh, Harvey turns himself in, right? He does basically, yeah. Because uh, they're like, dude, Harvey, you threw away everything you believed in. And Harvey goes, not quite. He goes, arrest me, Jimbo. Let's see if the right. system works. Yeah, they go, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it, but I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's my buddy, old pal. <laughs> A good old friend of mine. He's obsessed with the number two. <laughs> he has a delusion of two. His name is Two Face. He shot him with a twenty-two. What's crazy is Jimmy Stewart was actually in a movie called Harvey, where he imagined oh, seeing oh, Harvey. Yeah, he said that the buddy. God. Oh yeah. Jesus. Wow. Deep cut. <laughs> You're the only person who I could talk to about that. Um, two Face is in Arkham, right? Or he's sent to Arkham, right? Uh, where he's thinking about his wife. Mm-hmm. And we see his wife Gilda. I'm, I'm not skipping over anything, right? No, no, no. And his uh, wife, Gilda, on Calendar Christmas Man Eve. is there arguing with Alberto Falcone. Right. Um, and and uh, Gilda's packing up boxes because she's moving out of Gotham. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, I forgot one thing. Yes. That, yes. Harvey says, a one th- he says to Batman and Gordon, one thing you guys forgot, there were two holiday killers. And they're like, what does that mean? And they go, wait. Okay, Alberto Falcone was one, and then because Harvey killed on Halloween this year, he's the second the holiday second killer. killer. Yeah, so they've established now Holiday was not one person. It was two, two people. Yeah. Um, and Harvey was the second killer right. all along, as they suspected. Mm-hmm. And then we end the book with Gilda packing her bags up because mm-hmm. she's moving out of Gotham. Her right. husband's in jail. Her life has just fallen to pieces. Um, she uh, then describes out loud to herself how she read Harvey's case files about the removal of serial numbers and how baby bottle nipples yes. are used as silencers then she remo- she takes a box of a of a uh, of a 22 mm-hmm. pistol drops it and uh, uh puts it into the the uh, furnace mm-hmm. right so now we learn that she was the second killer yeah at, not only was she, she was actually the, she was first, the first killer. killer. She yeah. was doing it all along. And How Alberta good is this fucking copycat. twist? Alberto was the copy. Alberto killer, was the copy exactly, which still proves him to be the Fredo because he couldn't come up. With he it could himself. do it himself. He was the Chris Cuomo in this situation. That's, that's exactly who he was. Yeah. She wanted to create a cleaner Gotham City. Yes. So she started killing Carmine Falcone's men. And then on... uh, And she thought that would help Harvey's... Because he was like, it's not going to be like this forever. Right. And then on New Year's Day, Alberto took it over. She thought Harvey took it over because his hair was wet. Right. But yeah. Yeah. And then it ends with, I believe, in Harvey Dent. Oh, boy. She's reconciling with herself. And then just just the perfect perfect story. So good. Uh, This twist... I did not see coming at all. It's 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 it, the the last panel, the last shot, the lighting on her, the the even even the credits book, the page on mm-hmm. it is just oh, yeah. absolutely amazing. One of the absolute, I would say, I would I would put it up there as the greatest Batman book ever. My personal favorite. I agree. The personal best. Um, I love it. I think uh, everything after this book that came out live action was paying homage to this book. I agree completely. I'm so glad we did this story because it's a mystery. Because Batman is the world's greatest detective. And so many of these books, while great, The Killing Joke, great book. Dark Knight Returns, great book. Right. They're not mysteries, though. No. And they're they're also books that are uh, 
they're not good intro books. No, you know? no, it's they're like not. books you read as fans, and yeah. they're because they're they're Watchmen books. They're yeah, holding they're a like Watchmen, up yeah. to the character books. Yeah. You know, you don't start off with Killing Joke. You don't start <laughs> off with Dark Knight Returns. Um, this is the perfect book, I think, to start off with. Right. And then you could go back and read Year One. Do it Star Wars style. Totally. You know, um, the best. Oh yeah. There's only one other Batman mystery that kind of engrossed me the way this one did, which was what Hush. Hush! Oh yeah. man, that would be a fun one to do. That'd be a fun one to do. But even to still, list. I would read this before I read yes. Hush. Yeah. I, if you haven't read a Batman comic, read this one first. If you exactly. want to get into Batman comics, um, if you have any, uh, uh, I, I know we're going to get a bunch of comic book guy opinions. Send them into us at uh, uh, at our email. Mm-hmm. Uh, if, please like and subscribe. Uh, keep the show moving along. Follow us on YouTube. Follow us on Spotify, Apple, iTunes. We're in the Bond Cave. We're expanding. Um, <laughs> do we have you have any final thoughts on uh, Long Halloween over there, Mr. Vengeance? El Arata, El Arata. That's the worst Spanish I ever heard. No habla espanol, fellas. Uh, just keep keep listening. We'll be talking about Superman on the next one, right? Uh, yeah, Superman will be the next one. Yeah, yeah Superman, and then we gotta do probably Watchmen. Ooh, I love Let's that. Let's break it up for Marvel DC. Let's, Let's go, baby. Wait, t- technically, Watchmen is DC. Is DC? But... We should get the Alan Moore. <laughs> <laughs> technically, Sunni is my stepdaughter. Um, <laughs> God, that's a horrible note to end on. Uh, but Batman fucked Barbara Gordon, and that's a member of the Bat family, and that wasn't a good idea either. Um, until next. Next time, I'm Vengeance. I'm I'm uh, Jewish Vengeance. Jewish Vengeance. We just call that Hollywood. <laughs> uh, thank you for listening to Secret Identity. We'll see you. Bye, guys.